All right, guys, we are back with another one. After three and a half, four month wait, I know it's crazy. But to be honest with you all, I just been going through it. I've been sick left and right. I'm sick now. But I really wanted to make this video just to show that I'm alive. This is the proof of life video. So I have the 20 watt X2 D1 laser. <sighs> and we finna get into it. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is what was in the box. A big boy X2 20 watt. Look at it. Came with a spare lens in case it cracks. Came with a spare visor in case that one cracks or breaks or melts or whatever. Came with some adjustments for the air and everything else. A few tools, the cord, zip ties, instructions, and the power supply. So we're gonna get this thing put together very quick, but before we do it, I wanna send a shout out, y'all already know, to all the people who supported my channel while I've been gone. I've been gone for whew, a minute, a, a minute, and uh, thanks to all the people who reached out just to check and see if I'm okay. You know what I mean? I am okay, but if I wasn't, I'm happy to hear that it was a lot of people, you know, in my email. Hey, Southern Smoke, when you coming back? What's going on? How you doing? How you feeling? We haven't seen you. It really matters, man. And uh, that's what really drove me to do this video today because I really don't feel like it, to be honest. Um, been in and out of the hospital. My mother's been sick. Uh, just been going through it, but I'm still here. I'm still alive. So I really can't complain. I just got to live and go through it day by day just like anybody else. And um, I appreciate y'all, man. And with that being said, Little YouTube magic again. Let's get this thing go. Boom. There she go. That's the 20 watt. So the cool thing about this is, instead of having that little twisty, now you got an easy adjustment for up and down. It still comes with the same kickstand uh, for measurement and everything else. But it also comes with a secondary, not really even a secondary, the main power supply. So it comes off to the side and it has its own plug, which is our plug right now because it is very loud. You still will have your old plug plugged in. That's for your crosshairs and maybe to send information to the laser. But there we go. It was easy to put together. Nothing to it. A um, little tedious on the little knob. You got to twist in by hand. But other than that, once you put it all together, it's pretty easy. Y'all see the old baby. Oh. So, let's see what we can do with it. Let's go. All right, guys. So, the first thing we're going to be engraving is, you already know, canvas. We're going to be using a 20 x tool to see how good it can engrave canvas. The image that we're going to be doing today, he passed away a few months ago, a month ago. Uh, Takeoff. Uh, very sad situation. Very young man. And it's just very unfortunate that he had to lose his life so early. So we're gonna be doing a piece on takeoff today. You'll see the image shortly. But this is the eight by 10 canvas. We hit it with a little of this sandpaper because it was a little rough. I don't heard and seen other engravers use sandpaper on some of the rough, cheaper canvas. So to give it a little smooth finish. So I decided to hit it myself and try it. Um, I just went across it very lightly. I don't know what grid it is. I found it in my garage, but I wanted to give it a try. Smooth out some of the rough edges. We're going to start off with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss White all the way up the canvas, all the way back down. Make sure your paint can is shook up very well. If it's not shook up very well, it might not come out right. Also, you can sit it down in a bowl of warm water to get it up, but still shake it a little bit after you take it out. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way all the way up to the top. Just quick overlapping coats. I'm going to go all the way up the canvas and we're going to bring her back down. I'm trying to get over this cold, y'all. Be patient with me. But there we go. We're going to go all the way back down. Boom. 
We're gonna let that sit for about, about two hours before we come back and hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. Black, Gloss Black. See there, can't even talk. Y'all stay tuned for this amazing burn. All right guys, it's been about two hours. We're gonna go ahead and lay down the final coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. We're gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna work our way all the way up to the top. Make sure your paint is shook up very well. Test spray. We're gonna start at the bottom, work our way all the way up. Even over lapping coat. There we go. We're gonna let that dry. Go ahead and get our image and everything prepped. Get ready to start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. This is the image that we chose to engrave today of the great late takeoff from the Migos. All right, first thing we're gonna do to this image is we're gonna go to image and we're gonna go to scale image. Pixels, we're gonna change to inches. Now we're gonna change this to eight by 10 because that's what we're gonna be engraving on. And then we're gonna scale. And that's what we come up with. Then we're gonna go ahead and run the Big Gimpy plugin on it. If you don't have a Big Gimpy plugin, you can use Lightburn. You could use ImageR. It's a lot of different things that you can use, but I prefer using uh, the plugin. All right, so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna do two ten over two sixty, which is roughly a eight by 10, a little bit more, 317 DPI, make sure the tile is selected, hit okay. <clears throat> there we go. This is the image that we're gonna be engraving. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna load it over into light burn and then we're gonna start this amazing burn. All right guys, we got our image loaded into light burn. Um, I've been testing the 20 watt and we're gonna go to the cut and layers tab. And for canvas, I have found that 6,000 millimeters a minute and max power of 25% gives you the best quality as of now. You know what I mean? I have to play with it a little bit more, but I think it, it does a great job with my little test that I did. Um, don't forget, if you guys out there, you need the sweet spot to find that perfect number for engraving tile, canvas, wood, whatever it may be. Holler at me, shoot me an email, and um, I'll make sure to send that out to y'all. Um, man, it's uh, it's been a few crazy months, man, but I think I'm really getting back on um, on point. So y'all look forward to more videos coming out. All right, now we're just going to jump over and get ready to get this thing started. Y'all already know we're going to start some amazing burns. I appreciate y'all for sticking in there with me and just... Just being there, keeping my videos going, more subscribers. We didn't meet our 10,000 that we wanted for 2022, but 2023, we're going to blow that out the water and double it. Y'all stay tuned. Finna go ahead and get ready to start this amazing burn. All right, guys. Our canvas is dry. We got everything set up. We're going to hit shift the frame to make sure it lined up correctly. And it is looking... It's looking good, looking pretty good. I know it's been a long time since I said it, but y'all come on, man. We're gonna see what this 20-watt can do. Let's go ahead and start this amazing burn. Let's do this. 